Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to practice some game theory matrix. All right, take a look. We've got two of them, payoff matrix, one for firms A and firm B, and it doesn't matter what they're selling because I'm not going to focus on that as much as I'm going to focus your skills on finding out which firm has a dominant strategy. So over here, two firms A and B, two other firms X and Y, two different payoff matrix. In this situation, it's to advertise or not to advertise. In this situation, to maintain price or to lower your price. So again, the ones on the left of the cell represent the, the firm on the left. The ones on the right are the firm on the very top. What I want you to do is this. Pause this video. For this first one, we'll call this question number one. I want you to identify what is A's dominant strategy, or if they have one, and what B's dominant strategy is. And then over here for question number two, go ahead and tell me what's X's dominant strategy, or if they have one, and what's Y's dominant strategy. Go ahead and pause the video. Good luck. Okay, I hope you did good. Here we go. Start the clock. First thing I showed you in another video was this little trick right here. What I like to do is I like to draw a box around the numbers on the left-hand side just so I keep it in my brain. We are looking at firm A. The ones in boxes is firm A. Good. The question is, what's firm A's dominant strategy or do they even have one? Let's find out. All right. Uh, if firm B advertises, what should firm A? Should they advertise and get 100 or should they not advertise and get 75? Oh, they should do 100. All right, that was an easy one. And if firm B doesn't advertise, which one's better for them to do? Well, 60 compared to 90. Again, we're looking at just the boxed ones. 90. Okay, firm A advertises their dominant strategy. That's the one they should do regardless of what the other firm does. Good, how about over on the other side? How about for firm B? Well, if firm A advertises, which one should they do? 85 or 80? Well, they should do 85. Okay, that's an easy one. Okay, if uh, firm A doesn't advertise, what should they do? Should they advertise get 60 or they should get 70? Well, they should not advertise get 70. They do not have a dominant strategy. Firm B does not have a dominant strategy. Take a look over here. So the same thing as we just did before. I'm gonna put a box on these ones to help them remember which one's which. So let's take a look. Firm X, let's look for a dominant strategy. If firm Y decides to maintain, which one's better, 40 or 60? 60, okay? And if they decide to go lower, which one's better, 50 or 100, 100, don't, that's it lower their prices, their dominant strategy. And over here, for Y, let's take a look. Good, if uh, X decides to maintain, which one's better, 30 or 60, all right? 60 is a better one. And if X decides to go low, 40 or 80, 80, it looks like lower the price is their dominant strategy. That's the concept, until next time.